What's up, guys? Welcome back. Finally out with the UL19 Pro Boat, and couldn't be more excited for this one, you guys. It's a 4S2P setup, so it's technically now a P Limited race boat, if you will. The boat measures right at 30 inches, so it's kind of a perfect size for P Class. And it's got the new 10 shock. It's a 3760 2300 kV, which I think should be perfect for 4S2P. I've got these black Amazon PC thumb screws. It's got a fully custom bottom. Main thing being, uh oh, something's up with this. Main thing is that it is have the big recovery wedges up front removed. So that's kind of like the biggest change. I don't think the actual main ride pad is much different, but it does have those removed, which makes it, I think, slightly more efficient because you don't have those big wedges kind of hitting the water as you're going up and down. I'll do a quick tape job. It's probably gonna be a longer video. I did film some stuff, weighing some stuff, and it's a 4S2P, so tons of, tons of runtime. So it will be a little longer. I've got the same Mojo fin as before. I've got several Mad Lizard fins from Ryan to run, but this is like the last known tune on the boat. So rather than try and mess with it, I really just wanna get a baseline and then start messing with the fins. Cause I already know I have this one tuned in perfect. It's an X8S Hydra, I think I said that. It's on an M445 prop. And the biggest change that I've done to my boat is my CG is now at the turn fin. I've been able to get it dead center, dead nuts on the turn fin. And that's been, for me, what I've had the most luck with. All right, get in there. Hope the boat gang's doing well. It's beautiful. Wow, one turtle down there. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna leave you guys in wide angle just because last time I kind of screwed up and, and uh, whoo, okay. I had to go through a little bit. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I had to, so my CG's forward, so it's a little harder for me to get up on plane, as you guys can imagine. I got the GPS, so if everything goes well, I will be GPSing it. Uh, I've got cooling out of both sides, so that's a good start. Wow, this bastard's fast. This thing's like as fast as it was. Holy smokes, you guys. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's see here. Wow, okay, hello. I, I'm kind of processing this in real time, so. Holy smokes. Wow, okay. Nice little jump, nice and flat. I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. Um, it's wiggling around a little bit. It's wiggling, but it's it's flat, so that's good. I've got water cooling, and it's faster than it was for sure. Um, it's kind of wiggling, but it's not really hopping or doing anything. I might have to adjust the tune a little bit from last time out. So pretty much you got to launch this thing at full throttle. The M445 seems to have a little bit of hop at the back. Yeah, a little bit of wiggle from it. Damn. Damn. 
Yeah, I think you guys, I think it's a little bit it's a little bit scary just because it's it is faster for sure. I'm just trying to process what's happening and like uh, figure out whoo, I don't know if I'm just scared of it because it's like considerably faster. I, I can't really tell if it's doing anything weird or if I'm just kind of getting a little scared of it, honestly, because the front's not really lifting. It's, you know, there's a little wiggle here and there. You can see the bottom, my fin, my strut. Strut is at 0.750 from the table, which is what Darren Jordan always recommended. He's actually the guy that designed it with Rafael Lopez from Pro Boat. And so the designer of this boat, Darren Jordan, he did everything. And he has gone on record several times posting that he runs 0.750 inches from the table and after trying different depths I can agree I think that's the spot honestly um I know that's up for contention for some people um I think there's a lot of factors like your prop and everything like that but um that's where I've had luck I'm gonna temp it real quick and it's gonna be a longer video you guys I hope some of you guys will probably like that some of you guys will click away and skip to just the good parts and no problem either way but I'm sure some of you are curious on temps and how this system does so I do have a temp gauge and no smoke no smoke no smoke come on come on come on no smoke now I ran it probably a little bit, I ran it probably a little bit too long there. So don't do that. Don't do what I just did. That was probably a little too, too much, a little too aggressive of me. My bad, y'all. Let's check. Okay, so 2300. So this kind of slipped out of the, um, whatever that is, kind of backed off a little bit. All right, temp wise. 118, 114, 110, Hydra, 118, same. Uh, batteries might have moved. No, I don't think they did. All right, so 2300 kV M445 prop. A little bit of hop from the back. I think maybe a little bit too much lift. So I might switch out to a, I got a Dr. Props. I'm gonna try this bad boy. I tried it on the Cheetah. It's got a little less lift. Maybe a little less hop and stuff. We'll switch that out. We'll run it back. We'll be right back. All right. So I'm a total dummy. I left my GPS at home. And also, don't be like me and run the boat that hard for that many laps on a brand new $400 setup because it's just not wise. And I know this boat really well, so I wasn't overly worried. Everything worked out for me this time, luckily. But again... I don't recommend it. So here's the deal. We moved the CG forward when we put the 4S packs in with the light motor. We've moved the CG forward. And so what I was seeing was some hop at the rear because I was using a prop, a medium lift prop, an M445 with a little bit of lift. And because now we have more CG, we don't need as much lift at the prop. So I'm trying a prop with slightly less lift and from here, I would potentially even go to an ABC for even less lift. But we're just seeing. From what I could tell, the front end was behaving perfect. It was just a little hop at the rear. Temps were good. We're definitely in the 60s. Like I said, I'm a dummy. I didn't bring the GPS. Let's see how she likes this one. There it is. Okay, boys. Check this out. Zero hop. Zero hop from the back end. Ah, okay, just a hair, but you get what I'm saying, right? It's it's better, and holy smokies. Little wind, little wind, so... God damn. Yeah, we're definitely, I would say, this is as fast or close to as fast as the boats ever ran. We're definitely mid-60s. Mid-60s very comfortably, if not high 60s. 
it does like this prop. Oh, dude, this thing's okay. So we're we're going faster than the old 6S setup, you guys, which I knew would happen. Uh, this, you know, even though we went down in volts, right? So that means amps are going to go up. Um, but it's a way more powerful system, right? It's you know this system is is pretty boss. So um, it looks like my rudder keeps kicking up slightly. I have been thinking. By the way, you guys, a really good hydro. If uh, if you get it, if you get the CG and stuff right, a really tuned in hydro is going to be pretty hard to get on plane, right? Because you're going to have so much forward CG, and oh, this rudder keeps kicking back on me. I've actually been thinking about maybe swapping it out for something a little longer, so it's more in line with the prop, right? Because remember, I put on that extendo strut but yeah this is a doctor props should be around the same pitch and everything as that m445 water's a little churned up a little windy so i'm probably not going to be able to go balls out with it i wish i had that gps because she's fast boys look at that complete submarine it pops up and then you catch it on the way all right let's let's try and stay in it a little bit god look at this thing Look at this thing. Oh my God, that's probably close to 70 miles an hour, you guys. Holy sh smokes. Okay. Woo! Wow, this is like a new, this is a new driving experience. I'm gonna try and zoom you guys in a little bit here. Cause I know that wide angle Okay, so that was a launch. You just have to use full throttle. But I know this wide angle isn't really always the best for showing you guys just how fast that this thing's that this thing's moving. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Full throttle! Full throttle! Oh, God. Whoo! Okay, so we're good. We are so good. We are so good. This thing is absolutely crazy. I'm not going to push my luck on temp. I want to get temps really quick. Um, the heat shrink, the heat um, shrink on the motor looked like it kind of pulled back a little bit after that first run which is not, it's not a huge problem, but I just want to keep an eye on it because this thing's kind of expensive. This whole setup wasn't cheap. And yeah, it likes this new prop a lot better, you guys, because it's got slightly less lift. So we move the CG forward. If you guys can, sorry, one second here. Oh, trying to manage everything. Okay, so here's the rub. So we moved... Bless it. I apologize. We moved the CG forward, which means we need less lift at the prop to keep the nose down, right? So it likes this Dr. Props because it has slightly less lift than that Arctura. And that means that the next prop that would probably be decent to try on this boat would be the ABC, right? And keep in mind... Keep in mind, I'm neutraled out on everything. So every setting is neutral. My fin is neutral. My strut is completely flat. And that's with the shims, it's flat. <laughs> Look at how my, my prop sticks slightly past my rudder. I'd like to put a, wrong, a longer rudder, something like I have on my Pearl. And I think I want to do that next when I get a little time because I'm... I can already tell you guys I'm like now completely in love with this boat. I say this like every video, but I think this might be my favorite again, or maybe it always has been. But I'm going to pop this lid just to make sure that there's no smoke. I'll get more temps for you guys. The boat seemed a little bit happier than it did on the last prop. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so... 
you can see a little bit of the heat, a little bit of the heat shrink. The adhesive part kind of pulled back a hair. So we might be getting a little heat in the wires. Temp wise, 105, 100, 110. And these numbers won't mean much to you guys, right? Because they're cool and cool is good, but it won't mean a lot until you guys see the GPS on it. And when you guys see that this is doing 65, 70 miles an hour, what is that? A little dirt, I guess. When you guys see that this thing's doing 65 plus, maybe even 70 on a 4S fully race legal P limited setup. And then you see those temperatures. That's when things get really interesting and you kind of say, okay, that's pretty dialed in. So yeah, guys, longer video. Thanks for hanging out. I got the wrong motor from OSC. It was a simple mix up. They took care of me. They were quick about it and got this motor installed last night. Couldn't be happier. You guys, it's, it, it nailed the CG that I wanted. It nailed the power. It's definitely got more power than the last setup. And yeah, that's it. Sorry for the rambling. I'm sure some of you guys liked it though. And for everyone else, thanks for tuning in. Consider subscribing. Thumbs up is always appreciated. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.